How do you wash it? Does it smell? Oh my god, that's not your real hair. Oh my, can I just... Oh. No, get away! <laughs> Yay, what is it going to be? Oh, <laughs> it's my favourite one. Can I touch it? If they ask, that's even slightly better. Usually it's just right in for the kill. While I'm urinating from the back, she just dips her hand off my head. She's like, oh my God, it feels so nice. It's almost like when you go to a zoo and yeah, you want to exactly. stroke the animals. Exactly. Now I don't say go up to someone white with straight hair to go, oh, this is amazing. <gasps> do you have to wash it? So I ask someone, do you have a shower? Do you have a shower? Do you wash your do you feet? you clean yourself? <laughs> Afro hair. It doesn't retain moisture as much, so we wash it less often and we add moisture. It's when you're like staying at a friend's house and like the pillow is greasy. I've turned around pillows at friends' yes! houses before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Don't worry, see you later. Is that a wig? <laughs> yes. Yeah. At my old workplace, my colleagues didn't know that my hair was a wig. So I came in with this and they were like, your hair grew! And I was just like, I think before people would be like, no, it's not a wig because it was a shameful thing. Yeah. But now it's kind of like an art. People really take pride in making their wigs. Each wig for me is like, I get to choose which woman I want to be when I'm leaving the house. I don't even think it's a shame. Like if someone's like, is that a wig? They'll be like, yes, it's a wig, you know. Is it hard to get a job with your hair like that? There's this whole idea of professionalism and what the world what believes looks professionalism like. looks like. Professional hair doesn't include black hair, it doesn't. No. You're already competing against a different race of women who have different types of hair or different body shapes to you. Um, so you do feel like you have to kind of fit the like norm of what it is. I went for an interview, mm. was successful for the first part. Mm -hmm. The second part they called me, oh you're successful but can we ask you to take your braids out? Why? And I was like, because it's for high-end brands and they have a certain look. I know I wouldn't have gotten the job if I'd gone to interview mm. braids because I was just seen as I don't know, proclaiming my blackness. What an Afro represents is like rebellion, the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. It represents all these things which I, I feel proud of and I'm, I'm so happy that it does. But it also just represents me being this boy who grew up in Shepherd's Bush. Why do you wear your hair natural? For me anyway, straightening was about fitting in. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, as, you know, when I was younger and yeah. did it, everyone had that long, like, yeah. indie hair. Do you know how, like, how many black women that I've spoken to that have said, like, I did, I never knew the texture of my natural hair. Their parents relaxed their hair so young, they didn't know the texture. I became more proud of the way my natural hair is. Yeah. And it made me feel like I'm not gonna hide it like, to, to be accepted somewhere. I think natural hair is great and I love it when I see girls with natural hair. However, I have had girls look a bit funny at me because I don't have my wear in my natural hair. Now the natural hair movement's kind of raising up, yeah. then everyone's turning at the women with the wigs being like, when are you gonna do That's join? what's happening. And I'm like, why are you hating? Yeah, no, like, can you not see not that her. they're part yeah. of this movement yeah. as well? Like, yes, my hair is one element of my culture, but it's not the only element. So me having weave or hair extensions does not make me any less black. Why are you so sensitive about your hair? If someone tries to put their hands in my hair or ask me a question that I find offensive or rude, that's not being sensitive, that's just me being real. Oh, so if I'm offended, I'm like the angry black guy now. Yeah, because I said no offence, you shouldn't be angry. We're not sensitive about our hair. We just understand the history of what's happened yes. in our culture and existence. They have like a wig section and there was an Afro wig in there, yeah. but like in the clown slash scary section. You can tell that it's this is definitely it's from an African shop. It's definitely from an African <laughs> shop. Like it's not a costume. And the fact that it's there being sold as a costume, it makes you feel like your hair is literally a joke. I'm embracing who I am. Yeah, and also we're learning about our culture, yeah. our history, our heritage. Yeah. So it's 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 so deep. The fact that I've chosen to now be expressive of my hair, that's an act of rebellion in itself. Yeah. So to me, my hair is more than just, you know, keratin that grows out of my head. It's an actual almost like me making a statement saying I'm proud of who I am and you're not going to make me feel uncomfortable in who I am anymore. Different. I think the main point that we're trying to get across is don't touch our hair. <laughs> Wait, look, please don't. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Can I take this wig off now? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>